87 degrees already. It's 8.32 a.m. Well, day two of the trip back at uh, the Roadway Inn in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, yesterday started out uh, from Birmingham, flew on Delta over to Atlanta and then, then on to Birmingham, uh, then on to Fort Lauderdale. Waiting to catch the shuttle back to the uh, to the airport this morning. Uh, board at one o'clock on United and fly out to Washington D.C. From there over to uh, Brussels. It's an overnight flight, and then from Brussels to Bristol on Friday, uh, where Mike and uh, where Mike and Janet will pick me up at the uh, Bristol Airport. So let's see Mike and Janet again. So stay tuned. Should be a great time. Well, made it to Bristol. There was our ride. Hi, Janet. Hello. Hi. Across the border into Wales. Modernistic su suspension bridge. Yeah. This is not a very big span, this one, compared to the old bridge. Oh, listen to the doves cooing in the background. <laughs> You won't say that at 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah, well, we've arrived at Mike and Janet's. In Bream, right? B-R-E-A-M? Yep, like Bream. the fish. Very quaint. Uh, what's the name? Old King's Head. Old King's Head. Built in 1864. So the, this was the hard up tree? Hard up. And this, this is replacing it, and the guys would sit around there and be picked up for work? Yeah. So yeah. We're talking pre-World War II. Pre-World War II. So, there's the, there's our so this is the new hard-up tree. Yeah. <laughs> so there's the, 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 the primary school, elementary school, what you probably call it. And then there's our library. So they left the gates open on the sports field and all the sheep have gone. So it saves them from oh. cutting the wall. Oh, yeah. Have to go so is this a pitch? It will be. There's the cricket, will, will. That, that square in the white post. That's going to be the square which gets rolled and made flat. And then they'll have the, the boundary around it, yeah. Well, it's a nice location with the, with the view. The rising sun down there is a... Uh, that's your local pub. That's yes. the local pub, yeah. Honors uh, all the wars, or just one particular? Or no, that's two. World War One. World War One. And two, isn't it? And well, and two, yeah. Yeah. So the, the the names from the village of World War One are uh, on the other side. Okay, Mike. Where are we going today? Today we're going to um, drive down to our little holiday location for two nights. Um, we're starting off uh, moving. The just come down to Chepstow now and then we're across the Severn Bridge, get on the highway down to Minehead for where we're going to have lunch in a place called Dunster. Dunster's got a castle which is very interesting to see. It was uh, commissioned in 1966. It was the longest suspended span in the world. Um, so on the left, there you can see the River Wye, um, which, which comes through, uh, the, forms mainly the border between England and Wales. It reminds me of the Mackinac Bridge, kind of similar construction, going across the Upper Peninsula, Michigan. So this is the village that was around the. Dunford Castle. Dunster. Dunster Castle. Named after old man Duns Dunster. <laughs> Probably. Oh. Pose and say Dunster. <laughs> right, we're in Dunster this morning. <laughs> That's probably a quicker way to get That's back to where we were. 
Yeah, right somewhere. around there is the car park. Yeah. Millstream Cottage. No vacancies. Beautiful gardens. I think that's the gardener. <laughs> His assistant. Sorry. And, and daddy chasing them both. <laughs> Well, there's been a castle here for over a thousand years, starting as a Saxon stronghold and developing into a comfortable Victorian country house. The 13th century gateway, this one, is the oldest surviving part of the castle. And you can still see the ruined curtain wall, partly demolished in 1650 following the English Civil War. The building we see today was remodeled by Anthony Sullivan between 1868 and 1872. We had Julian Luttrell come round who was one of the sons, and he told us about what it was like when he was a child. So we put it into a book. What I wanted you to see, that whenever you go into a room, you'll see a little map telling you where you're to. Then oh. you won't get lost. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Sorry, so where we spoke to the lady, that's the outer hall. Okay. That's the outer hall. This is the inner hall. This is the drawing room. Oh, not the drawing room. So the drawing room is where you withdraw after dinner. The ladies withdraw to the drawing room. So this is after dinner, the ladies would come here and talk. And the gents would go we'll to go the, somewhere else and smoke cigars and, and, and play pool or something. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So there we go. We show who's done what. That's what's the family tree. And that's the uh, that's the view from the the drawing room. Is that what we're calling this? Yes, the drawing room. Drawing room. So this is where you would come and have your your your, food. your dinner, Anything. or your yeah. supper, your it's teas, it's your. Yeah. So it'll be laid out on the sides with um, little burners underneath to keep it all warm. All the, the all silver. silver and crystal. They've just they just undressed the table to yeah. clean it all. So we'll just, yeah. Nice playing. Oh, I see you were listening. Oh, sure. Nice. Very nice. In fact, I've got it on film. Nice to say oh, We've got it on film a little bit. It's very nice. <laughs> I, I, I always play it. A great American songbook. You know. Oh, I thought it sounded a little bit like summertime when we first came in. Yes, yes. Very nice. So you get to clean all the silver? Uh, yeah, these are just stainless steel. But, um, we have got silver that we've cleaned and polished. Yeah. All different things we've got. So it looks like before we clean it, it's been on there for a long time. Isn't it? The, <laughs> yeah, the circles on the top. An hour, uh, not an hour, about a year. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Um, but it, yeah, it takes us a good couple of days to clean everything, and yeah, then some time to take it for the um, cloth to go away to be cleaned, and then reset, and it takes a good couple of days. So um, yeah, we don't do it too often. Yeah. Just, just push, and the butler comes. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's a turn, a turn. See the knob on the side? Oh, yeah, it's, okay. Yeah, because if you look the other side... There, there's one over there, it's too. Up a bit. So, so would that call somebody else, or...? No, or no. Just, just, just so you didn't have to walk? To walk. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, I yeah. see, yeah. I understand. That's a long journey, yeah. Oh, it's time for dinner. <laughs> Hang on, no, that's the dressing gong. Oh, the dressing gong. You've got to have the dressing gong first. Oh, there's the We'll start from the outside and work in. Okay, so soup. Starter. Oh, sorbet. Main. Something like that. Look at that, nailed she knows it. what she's doing. <laughs> Just call you Mrs. Hughes, that's all. Yeah. This is the morning room. The morning. 
Yeah, so you have to sit in the community in the morning. So oh. you have to sit in the morning. So you have to sit in the morning. Hello. Scott would love this one. Okay, and these are the grounds. In the darkest England, there's palm trees. Oh, yeah, he does have some palms up there, doesn't he? What are those? Wind? So we've got high ceilings so the heat can dissipate, really good lighting from the windows. Even so, the windows are positioned, so if you're walking outside as a, as a visitor um, during the Victorian period, you couldn't really see the servants at work. Okay. Okay. Unlike nowadays, if you go to a good restaurant, they encourage you to watch the, the, mm. the chefs at work, don't they? And uh, still at that time, it's kind of like behind closed doors sort of thing. But the light is very, very good, you must admit. Part of the gardens, uh, we'll go into the water mill. There's the water mill. We were just a little, little bit early. So this is the village of Porlock on our way to... Bude. Bude? Bude. B-U-D-E. Bude. Where we stay in the night. And that's where we have our Airbnb. Yes. So this is Port Wynn. Port Isaac. Port, Port, Port Isaac. In the TV series, it's called Port Wynn. Port Wynn, but it's Port Isaac, really. And this is called Port Isaac Bay, on the map. Yeah, there's the, the break wall that you can see in a lot of the episodes. Yes. The real place with the orange shutters, you're saying that's the surgery? That's the surgery, yes. You don't realise you have a great big house behind it. You don't ever catch no, that. Yeah, yeah, they don't see it, yeah. show that. We're very careful over there. I need to see this other house in there. That great big one back up on the corner there. Yeah, that's a good one, isn't it? Oh, his girlfriend? Doc Martin's girlfriend lived here? Yeah, there's one episode where she's in a place like that. Um, the electrics are all wrong. So she's cooking him a meal before they really get together. Cooking him a meal, and I think she electrocutes herself. And I think it's that one. Yeah. So it's not actually a school, it's a, it's a restaurant and a bar. It used to be a school. It used to be a school of the I thought they had some kind of terrace that they were always out on. Yeah, that one. There is. There. That's the terrace. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. That, and they had a restaurant along the water there. Yeah. yeah. Of course, he's got his private private property. He, this, is, this poor guy's probably got more people taking pictures of his place. Looks like it was a church at one time. Probably a church school. Church school, okay. Yeah. Most yeah. schools were attached to the church. Yeah, the actual chapel was behind the upper, upper Oh, bit. yeah, I see, okay. Oh, that great little village. Yeah. Arthurian Center, King Arthur's oh. Great Hall, and jewelry. Okay. Because, of course, the author liked his bling. Yeah. It's like something out of Harry Potter. Yeah.
We're at the cider place. This is the cider farm, yeah. And we're going to try some cider. We're going to try some ciders, hopefully. And this is where they used to smash the apples, huh? Pints for three pounds, bottles for three pounds. A flagon, what's a flagon? It's 10 pounds. Severin Cider. This is Larry, our friend from Alabama. Oh, right, okay. Okay. They, they, Janet and Mike told me about this place, and we. Oh. Hey. <laughs> so, yeah. So, when he was in the UK before, we introduced him to some cider down Somerset Way and stuff. Uh huh. But now we've, we've moved out here and we've found you, so we brought him here. All so. oh, right, okay. <laughs> You're welcome, sir. Thank you. <laughs> we have a range of bottle ciders. Uh, dry medium, sweet, and then we have a heritage perry. So what do you think now? Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah, I like that a little better than the medium. Yeah. Mm. That's a perry. That's a heritage perry. You've got to try that. Uh, with perry think wine, not cider. So it's dry it's, or? It's a, it's a medium dry. Me Oh, I would imagine being made from pears, it would be sweeter. No, it would be much drier, actually. Oh, right. I, I, this shows what I know. Well, I've come here for an education. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so what are you thinking about a box of sweets? Um, we can mix them so you can have some perry in with it. Because those are flat. These are sparkling. Yeah. No, you this is not. You don't you care. No, no, no. I, I, I don't no, like I, it. If I like the sweet, obviously I'm not going to like this. No. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Did you uh, want to no, try this? No. no, no. So no. I'm going to get some bottles. Oh, you're going to buy some bottles, right? Okay. That's fine. But I can mix and match them. Yeah. So if you want some Perry in. Um, yes, please. Yeah. Okay. Like you call the shops. Okay, you've got the control. Yeah. So how many do you want of what? Mountain. 